All right, welcome back to the channel. My name is Atreus. I'm coming at you live from ATL, bringing you that gaming entertainment, commentary, news, and analysis that you enjoy. All right, so your boy Ezra Miller is fucking up again. Let's get into it. All right, so here we go again. There's something wrong with this boy, man. There's something wrong with him. Uh, so, Warner Brothers is reportedly is reportedly considering three different options for the Flash in the wake of Ezra Miller's mounting legal troubles, including the worst case scenario of canceling the damn movie. Ain't that some wild shit? Two hundred million dollars going down the drain, and as you know, they already canceled the Batwoman movie. I'm sorry, the Batwoman movie. So that would be like three hundred million going down the drain already. I mean, this is just a fucking disaster, dog. I don't know what the hell Warner Brothers been doing. I mean, obviously, that it, there is no way they could have known that Ezra Miller would have done all of this. But a lot of people don't feel bad for him. I mean, they're between a the rock and a hard place and already invested all of this money. And dude is like, I don't know if dude is snorting bath salts or what. Like, something wrong with this dude, man. Um, of course, he's an LGBTQ member. Uh, a lot of people said they have a strange feeling of believing that if this was a straight white male, this movie would have already been canceled. I don't know if I believe that quite so much. $200 million is a lot to say. Just toss in the wind. Um, but who knows, though? You know, the way the world's been moving, I mean, that, that wouldn't be surprising. Uh, all right, so let's see. Everything you need to know about the future of The Flash. So, so you know... Dewey's been on some weird shit, man. Like, he holding people hostage, grooming grooming kids and all type of stuff. Charged with, you know, burglary and, and, and this, that, and the third. Um, I think my laptop's asking me for a break. <laughs> so, yeah, I mean, Dewey's on some weird stuff. So, anyway, we, we don't want to talk anymore about him. Uh, what we're going to talk about is how the DCEU can fix they're trying to do so first thing uh after this ezra miller situation y'all need to go ahead and scrap this shit all right let's just go ahead and scrap it, it it's 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 at this point this is comical go go ahead and um scrap what you got going on with ezra miller after this uh, Aquaman movie comes out, I mean, you still got the Amber Heard situation. You don't even know if people's gonna go out and watch that if there's even a second of her in it. Uh, and so it's just time to just say goodbye to the uh, DCEU. What you need to do, okay? First of all, the first thing you need to do is to stop trying to be like Marvel, okay? Uh, Marvel, uh, the MCU is having its own issues right now. There's a lot of fatigue that's about to start setting in and people are tired of certain things. I mean, at this point, Thor is a joke. The whole thing is a joke. Everybody's tired of the comedy and stuff like that. People need you to be the more uh, 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 mature version of the comic book genre that they go to see when they go to theater. So the first thing y'all need to do is to uh, stop trying to be like Marvel, okay? Stop trying to do uh, woke shit, all right? I'm not saying don't put any women or gay or, or, or trans people in there. Just stop trying to do woke, woke shit. Create new characters if you need to 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 fill those um, those um, those quotas, if you will. Uh, but one thing, making Superman black is not gonna make niggas come to the theater. I'm sorry. You can say what you want to say. Ain't nobody looking to go and see no nigga Clark Kent. All right. It is what it is. So what y'all need to do is. Y'all need to, uh, you need to do a, a Gotham verse, okay? A Gotham and a Metropolis verse. <laughs> oh my God, Metro Metropolis verse? I mean, that kind of got a ring. No, it don't. It don't got a ring to it. Whatever, I'm gonna say it anyway. So a Gotham verse and a Metropolis verse. Um, Batman and Superman needs to be the anchor to the DC universe. Period. You don't need to focus on nothing else uh, outside of those two for right now. Gotham by itself is a billion dollar franchise. All right. Give me $50 million um, as a filmmaker myself. Give me $50 million. Give me Vicky Vale, Hugo Strange, and Killer Croc, and I'll give you a rated R horror movie 
starring Hugo Strange and Killer Croc and Vicky Vale and it'd be a mystery a monster horror movie with Batman playing a minimal role of uh, being a shadowy figure in the back. I could give you an A1 movie off that alone. And if you want to do a Batman movie and you want to introduce some other Justice League characters, you could easily do a Batman movie introducing the Green Arrow just like that. I mean, ha have the Batman versus the Green Arrow and then they team up at the end. I mean, that's a no-brainer. And then if you do the Metropolis-verse, that can be your uh, <laughs> that can be your sort of uh, your more lighthearted stuff right there with Superman being a more optimistic character. Uh, and, and you can introduce other characters like Wonder Woman and, and, and such uh, over there. And then eventually after Superman and, and Batman have already established their lore and everything going on in their respective universes, then you can have them come together uh, later on and form a Justice League type of thing. But you guys' this formula is not working. Uh, doing the woke shit is not working. It's not going to work. And, and, and from what I can tell, it seems like they, they understand that. They're just trying to figure out. The, the new the new bosses understand that. And they're just trying to figure out what to do from here. So tell me what you guys think. Uh, how should they fix the DCEU? How should they deal with this uh, Ezra Miller situation? And uh, just let me know. Follow me on Instagram. A-T-R-A-E-S underscore. Follow me on Twitter. That's the number four. T-R-A-E-S. Yeah, <laughs> and that's it. T R A E S, right? That that is how I spell my name. Anyway, <laughs> and, uh, and do that. Join the Patreon. Also, guys, I am on Twitch now. I did my first Twitch stream just yesterday. I did a lot of multiverse play there, and so if you want to come and see your boy, bust some ass on there. Holler at me. Go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. I'm out on this one, guys. <laughs>